Oh, I find it very, very random. I'm like, well, hello, my lovely nestlings, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to chat about new makeup releases, sneak peeks, giftable things, and give you my opinion. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup, and being creative. Let me explain some things. The slightly orcish means that I am a light to light medium warm-ish olive, and the relatively vintage means I'm old. I'm 46. So I'm not that old, but I found it funny to say it like that. Never mind. Apparently I have a mood today. Let's start with what I have on my eyes. I actually uh, did a live stream this morning, your yesterday, or maybe two days ago for you. Uh, but it is on my channel and I am uh, using the mystery box from V Cosmetics. And this is the look that came out and I really, really like it. So if you want to know what I used... And how I created the look, watch the live stream. Uh, but I will link where you can find the mystery box down below in the description box. Side note though, codes are not allowed on the box. So if you order and still use a code, the order will be cancelled. And she still has boxes in stock. So definitely worth checking out. Yes, let's go to the side. Because I have a lot of things and I have opinions. <laughs> as well let's start though with giftable things so basically you know holiday season is starting and every time i think of that i hear you know the coca-cola commission with the holidays are coming you're very welcome by the way so i have quite a few giftable things but they're all too cute so don't click out just watch what i have um i will leave everything i'm talking about today down in the description box and from the um, the art channels uh, or the art things that i'm going to mention i will also leave their instagram handles i am however going to start with perfume otherwise i forget so i'm going to start with the perfume from kayali because they dropped a new scent it's available now basically sephora uh, for europe also easy paris um mostly sephora's and for the u no for the uk it's also at asos boots called beauty it sells it harrods and selfridges and sephora uk but you can also buy it on huda beauty and i usually um i have a few of her of their scents and i really like them and usually i go for the 10 milli milliliters however what was this scent about let's let's see if i can find the scent notes It's a Vanilla Royal Sugared Patchouli. Uh, top notes are Vanilla Orchid, Creamy Jasmine and Golden... What is a Creamy Jasmine? I know Jasmine and I love the scent of Jasmine. What is a Creamy Jasmine? I don't know. Uh, anyway, the middle notes are Vanilla Infusion, Vanilla Sour Absolute, Tonka Bean Accord, Spicy Rose Bouquet, Smoky Leather, and Creme Brulee. And then the dry notes are Sugared Patchouli, Musk, Brown Sugar, Amber, and Royal Out. I think... I pronounce that actually in Dutch, Out, but it's... Oud? Is that how I pronounce? I don't know. But it does sound yummy. It does sound yummy. And what she also has on her... Side. I don't know if this one is included as well, but she also has samplers for, oh, you know, the, the tiny, tiny ones. The I think it's one milliliter or something. And uh, that's very easy if you don't really know what you like. Now, most of them I actually really do like. The only one I did not really like was the, I think it was the citrus that I'm like, yeah, it's not really for me. But this one, yeah, I would actually love to try this. I would love to try this. So let me know if you've ordered this. I don't think I'll go out of my way to order uh, just the perfume. But I will probably have to because right now there's nothing else that I want from Huda. So maybe I will. I'll um, yeah. If I'll if I end up ordering it, I'll let you know how I feel about it. So now I'm going to go to giftable things, and I'm going to start with Fairy Realtor. And this cozy new property will hit the market, basically her Etsy shop, uh, this Saturday at 12 o'clock p.m. EST. And this is a, a It's a fairy house that you can hang in your tree. This is so cute. And I mention this artist on a regular basis because I just love stuff like this. This makes me uh, very creative. It's also what I love to create. Not necessarily this, but kind of fairy houses. I love that as well. Yeah, by the way, my art channel that I made is also linked in the description box. Go check it out. But I think this is just so, so cute. And she does more stuff like this. So I just wanted to mention it. They're all one of a kind, but this, I also have polymer clay, but this just gives me things to think about for my own tree. Granted, I have plastic balls 
in my tree. I also have a fake tree. Why? I have cats. Does that say enough? So, but I think it's really, really cute. And this kind of makes me want to buy a few glass balls and then and then just try to make something fun for in my own tree. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. You never know with me, but I will leave the Instagram handle down below and I will also leave the Etsy shop down below for you to check out. Next, I'm going to go to Stuff and Clay. And this is just so cute. So uh, this, uh, people think that this is a dandelion. Uh, and it kind of resembles a dandelion, but it's not. These critters are in fact wishes. When a wish is pure, it will come back flying to its owner. Love, patience and perseverance are needed to keep this little one alive. And one day, luckily enough, if you have it all, if you gave it all three... It'll fly away and make your wish fulfilled. That was, I don't know why I, I struggle with that sentence, but it's just too cute. This will launch Wednesday, 30th of November. I will link the Instagram handle down below. I will also leave the shop down below, but this is so cute. This is so, so cool. It's also so very, very giftable. I think this is just so cool. So that's why I wanted to mention it. Next, I am going to go to the little ghost company because we have new ghosties. Listen, it's always spooky season in my house. I have five tarantulas, in case you don't know. So it also saves dusting. I'm just saying. Uh, but these are uh, 23 CT. I don't know, actually. A floral ghost plus more gold and white gold and white ghost designs in next week's shop drop. There are also more ghosts of Saint Nick. So the shop drop will be next week but let's see if i can find out when exactly there is a shop update every week wednesdays so the shop restock is on wednesdays every week so i will leave the shop down below these are cute what can i say these are just very very cute so i wanted to share them next i'm going to go to moth magic and this artist i think i've mentioned once or twice before they don't create a lot of stuff often but Looking at this, I can very much understand why. So here you see one. Um, these are owls. Uh, the shop update will be 25th of November, 6 p.m. EST. Is, is that Black Friday? I never know. But I have... It's This is just so, so stunning. And then the next one that I have, which has uh, a crescent moon on the brow. They are so, so stunning. When I later when I grow up, I will have one of these. These are just so so pretty. Very magical and they just what I love about art is that it can that it can um give you a feeling, you know, call up emotion and this very much speaks to, speaks to my soul. So this is something that I well, I would love to own one of these from this artist. One day I will. Let me know if you have uh, ordered anything. And I will, as I said, leave the shop down below and the Instagram handle down below. And the shop update will be the 25th of November. Then I'm going to go to Spirits and Beings. Uh, because what you see here are cute little postcards with mini envelopes. They're tiny and velvety soft paper. It's a set of nine uh, A7 folded post postcards. Three of each fairy. Uh, and there are nine craft mini envelopes included. And they are called fairy posts. I will leave the shop down below. Because they are they are available now. This is also very cool. I love this. I love this a lot. And especially around the holidays. You know. If you're like. You know people who love stuff like this. I don't know. When you give them a gift. Do this then as a, as a card. You know. I love that. So that's why I wanted to mention it. The last thing that I have here. These are so cute. I think one of you sent these to me in DM. Look how cute this is. This is from Miss Wonder Smith. Oh, she has a lot of a lot of cute stuff. Now I will leave the, as I said, the Instagram down below. I will leave the shop down below. I don't know if these are available. But these are just so, so cute. So again. That is why I wanted to mention these. I love stuff like this. Honestly, I'm going to go to makeup now. And I'm going to start with Unearthly Cosmetics because I have something. So let's start with this first. Um, so you see here a post that says to write love on her arms. So what is Amanda doing? She's actually doing a fundraising for a non-profit organization 
called to write love on her arms. They are dedicated to presenting hope and finding help for people struggling with depression, addiction, self-injury and suicide. Uh, they exist to encourage, inform, inspire and also invest directly into treatment and recovery. And I think that is so amazing. So that is why I, um, I wanted to mention this. I don't know exactly how you can... Um, she has a fundraising on her Instagram. I will leave her Instagram handle down below. I don't really know how this works. Okay, so you just click on the Instagram where it says fund fundraising for to write love on her arms. And then you can donate if you want to. If you're not able to donate and you are on Instagram, just share it or talk about it. And, you know, give awareness to the fact that this, uh, this is going on. I really wanted to mention it because I, I think this is an amazing cause. Next, I'm going to go. Don't you like the picture that I show you here of the new stuff that's going to drop? It's actually my picture. <laughs> Never mind. But I have the stuff here. So she is going to launch uh, today. As you are seeing, this one probably has already launched by the time you are watching the video. Uh, two new palettes. The, and seven new li uh, satin, li satin liquid Lipstick shades. It's difficult today. So let's start by showing you the grind palette. And I have a video up with everything. So in the video where I use the grind palette, I also show you the swatches uh, of the Dead of Night palette that I'll show you in a little bit. And I will also have the swatches of the new uh, lip shades that she has. But I also have a video up me reviewing the Dead of Night palette. So here is the gr Daily Grind palette. And it's a very... It's a very fun colorful palette right i had a lot of fun with this so if you want to see it in action hear my opinion on it go watch my video and then here is the dead of night palette and here is that color story and as i said i also have a video up with that one i really do like the quality of both palettes a lot uh the, the this one retails for 25 this one retails for 40 and i'm not really sure what the lipsticks real uh re what the lipsticks go for um but everything is either online already as you're seeing this or it is coming soon you can use my affiliated code nikki raven to save 10 percent at checkout if you want to and i will leave the site down below and i will also leave her instagram handle down below so yeah oh yes i also have a picture of lip swatches of the lippies i almost forgot so yeah i really really do like uh, the colors the fun fact is that the shade marianne is a little bit more orange on me than red um but even me being an olive and i am a warmer olive these shades complement my skin tone so so well and i have used the shade olivia uh, and Guiana and I think I also have used the shade Amber uh, on my lips and they're very very flattering and I love the fact that she came out with these colors because honestly these are colors that I have been looking for for a long long time and um, I'm glad that I have them in my collection and they they are I can show you one it's actually the same component as the, oh, no it's the same component as the old old ones only this one says uh, unearthly cosmetics instead of alien cosmetics so there is one of the satin liquid lipsticks they don't completely dry down but they're very comfortable they're not drying uh, it's actually one of my favorite formulas next i'm going to go to ensley rain cosmetics because this is a sneak peek of the palette that they are working on uh, it's a cosmic dreamer palette and it's set to launch november the 22nd um there are still empty shots slots really Oh yeah, I'll do. Oh yeah, I now I see. I had to look. So it's not a complete color story yet. Because yes, there are empty slots. Actually, the one in the center. Then the one, you know, uh, kind of diagonally above that. I see uh, another one that's empty. Uh, but the color story that I see right now, I think looks pretty. It's kind of a grungier color story, which I really enjoy. Now, I know that people will call this a neutral palette. And I can kind of see why they would. Um... I like this. I, I still haven't tried them. I have a, a palette from them here, but I still haven't had the opportunity to try the brand. But this palette looks pretty. So let me know if you are excited. I will leave their site down below. Yes. And uh, next I'm going to go to Clarity Cosmetics. Because here you see swatches of their Croc palette that is launching on Black Friday. And these look so, so pretty. It's so I have her Cobra. I really like her Cobra, but this color story... 
very very pretty launching on black friday um there are not a lot of releases that are very that are exciting me a lot right now this is one of them though i think that this color story is extremely extremely pretty extremely pretty oh yeah oh i also may have ordered the the Too faced mini marshmallow palette and it may be coming my way just maybe uh, next i'm going to go to uh, a sneak peek from mba cosmetics and this is their chillin with my no me's palette um i love that i love this this makes me happy now i see a few colors i'm i don't know if it's an all uh, shimmer palette it will have nine shades i can see that but i don't know if there will also be mattes in here but i love this this makes me happy i've never tried mba cosmetics what i see just Purely based on the picture, it will be a formula that I like because I have more formulas that look like this on the picture. It doesn't say that it's the same type of formula, but usually this is a formula that I like and I love this. Yes, I do. So I will leave their um, website down below. I don't know when it will launch. It says coming soon. But it's just too cute. Next, I'm going to go to something I got tagged in. And this brand launched something similar last week that I didn't mention. Because I was like... Why? But yeah, I, I got tagged in this now. And I, I kind of have opinions. So basically, it's Hip Dot. And they have done th this. Last week they showed, what was it, Spongebob. I did mention, I think it was Care Bears that I thought was cute. It was the first, the first thing that I did. And I thought it was something different and innovative. But yeah, they're doing it again. And this one is Sesame Street. Now let me tell you that we in the Netherlands had Sesame Street. Also, although our Big Bird is blue. I don't know why. But it's also not called Big Bird. It's called Pino. So yeah, so we have here the Cookie Monster. I love the Cookie Monster. I think it's so cool. And Oscar, I love. I also love Count Tell. And I love Oscar. I don't know why he's looking happy here. Maybe because I can, he can cast someone out. I don't know. But uh, I don't know what these are. <laughs> oh, they're uh, 3D sculpted eyeshadows. So yeah, you have Cookie Monster, Elmo, Oscar the Grouch. But he does not look grouchy. So I'm not understanding that. And then Big Bird. Uh, 12 bucks each, 38 for the full collection. I have seen mixed uh, mixed opinions. I, I have think I have seen the most that Oscar is looking too happy. Um, which I agree. It's Oscar the Grouch. And he's looking happy here. That's, not, that's, that's a no-no, in my opinion. Uh, but I have seen people who are going bonkers for this. I have seen people going, well, basically bonkers, but then the other way. Um, for me, I'm like, no... The first round was fun. If they had launched basically this... You know, this uh, Sesame Street, uh, Spongebob and the Care Bears all in one go. But then just had different vari varieties to choose from. I would have said, yeah, it's something new that I haven't seen before. It's something for everyone. This though, what are they coming out with next? What? I could kind of see my little pony in there somewhere. But I, I, it, it, it feels kind of... I almost want to say redundant now. Let me know your thoughts though. Did you pick any up? Also, I don't like the colors. But that's me. That is me. I think that color-wise, Oscar should have been a bright green. Then I would have liked it way more though. Um, I think that Cookie Monster should have been a very deep blue. Because he is very deep blue. Uh, Big Bird. Yeah, uh, uh, he's yellow. But as I said, ours was blue. And then Elmo... Did we have an Elmo? I don't even think we had an Elmo. We had Idi Mini, which was a mouse. Then we had Tommy, and he was a dog. I don't think we had an Elmo. But it has also been quite a number of years ago. So maybe I just forgot Elmo. But yeah, for me... I, I think the, color, the colors are also off. But that's me. That's me. Let me know your thoughts down below. For me, it's... A no, no. No, it's no. Let's go next to Gloss Gloss because they have uh, a pre-order up for two types of San Secret Santa mystery boxes. You have one box, it's called Tiny But Mighty. It costs, uh, say, 800 sec, um, which is the Swedish crown. And it's 
for me almost one on one so say 80 bucks as well then kind of like that just to give you a ballpark if you want to know for sure just google sak sec uh to a dollar or your currency and you have you can fill uh, fill everything out right and then there's also the box a uh, big and beautiful and it is say 1300 sec uh, but the values are I don't want to say double, but almost double. So that's very nice. So in the Tiny But Mighty, there are around seven to nine products. And at least three, a minimum of three are new. Uh, and the big box contains 15 products about uh, around there. Uh, and at least five of them are new. So if you like mystery boxes, maybe this is something for you. Uh, Gloss Colts, as I said, is based in Sweden. I still haven't tried them yet. I do want to, though, because the things that I've seen from them are very, very pretty. So let me know if you have ordered or are going to pre-order one of the mystery boxes. Let me know down below. Next, I'm going to go to Colourpop because they have... This, this I like. So they have a collab with the Muppets for the holidays this year. It's You see here the full holiday collection. It drops today or maybe it has already dropped. I think it is about to drop when you are seeing this. Kind of thinking about what usually the time for me is uh, when Colourpop drops things. I think it's either dropping right now or it has just dropped or it will drop. I don't know. You know... Um, but you get uh, four super shocks, uh, four glowing lips, a glitter gel, and there is also a uh, 16 pen eyeshadow palette. The full collection will retail for uh, 104 bucks. But I, I like the Muppets a lot. I The fu fun thing is that I can hear people saying what do the Muppets have to do with Christmas or the holidays. But they have holiday specials. They have holiday movies. I have seen them or maybe one that I've seen multiple times. But I think that this collection is fun. I, I don't know. I like it, guys. What can I say? Mm, they're not really monochromatic rose. But kind of a little, maybe. I, I like the fact that there are only two blue shades in there. And that the dark blue matte is a very dark blue. I like that as well. And looking at the picture that I have here. The blue shimmer seems to be a little bit of a grayer blue. Which I also like. So color story-wise, I think it's very, very cute. Then the glowing lips, I think, are cute as well. I think the, the colors are pretty. I don't know if they ship this outside of the USA, though. Because I remember with... Was it Peeps? They did not ship that outside the USA. And also uh, with the, um, the basketball palettes, they also don't ship that one to me. But this, I think they will, but I'm not sure. I think it's cute. I, lo I love that they did Miss Piggy. I love that they did Miss Piggy and that they give her pink. I love that they did Animal and it's a red. And then we have Fonzie and Kermit. I think it's it's very cool. I like it. What can I say? You know, actually, I, I like usually the old man. You know, the sarcastic old man on the balcony. I like those the best. And the cook. I also love the cook. But I think this is a cute collection. I like it. Let me know your thoughts. Are you planning on picking anything up? Am I planning on picking anything up from this? Not necessarily... But you never know. You never know. You never know. Uh, next, I'm going to go to something that has already dropped, which is the After Party collection. It's the collection that matches uh, the main event hair tints and conditioners for monochromatic looks. And I think that's cool, actually. I think that's cool. So you have a bunch of eye pencils, mascaras, colored mascaras, and uh, quads. I have to sneeze in a minute. It can take a while. Anyway, let's go, but let's go to the color stories of the quads. So I have not tried the quads yet, but I really do want to one day. So I like that they are monochromatic quads. I do like that. I am missing a little bit of depth though, but that is me. And right now I'm kind of looking at the swatches. Um, so basically you have a matte and a corresponding shimmer. I do enjoy that, but I, I can see the depth in the green and in well the gray. One, I'm, I wish the purple was deeper. Um, but that's personal preference. And I've said this actually in... Have I said this? I don't know. But for me, if I'm doing kind of a mid-tone look, I uh, can deepen it up usually with the shade itself or maybe one shade darker. But if I'm doing kind of a darker look like I have today, I want to have a dark color to give a little bit more dimension to my eyes. Now I have that in my collection. Yes, I very much do. 
Um, and I do like these. I just wish that some of them, specifically actually the purple, that the purple just was deeper in the color. But I do like them. And I do really want to try one of their quads one day. So uh, the colored mascaras I think are cool. I, I just don't really like their mascara formula. I have tried them. I have the Butcher, Butcherton one here. I like the color a lot. Uh, the wand, yeah, I'm not really a fan of Hourglass. Uh, hourglass shaped ones, you know, those kinds But um, that's okay I can kind of look past that But the formula, it's just too dry And Yeah Thick For what I like um, But I would kind of like to try one of the quads So if I'm going to make another Colourpop order Honestly, I'm waiting for one right now Which is the C3PO palette It's going to be delivered today As I'm filming this Um Yeah, next time I'll order I think I'll I, I do really want to try One of their quads I do So let me know your thoughts Have you picked any up? Let me know down below I'm going to go next to Essence For their Cookies for Santa collection Everything is scented like sugar cookies And you see a bunch of things um, This is already available in USA uh, on Essence website And it's available in some territories in Europe So usually stuff like this comes to us first And I'm glad that they kind of released it globally I haven't seen it in stores yet uh, Last year or was it two years ago I actually picked up one of the lip balms The, the cookie, cookie lip balm that you see I still have it somewhere I think that the cleaning mat looks cute Like a cookie I, I like that uh, the, the, lip, the lip gloss the, Oh they also have a lip scrub this year So I also have the lip scrub from last year Still here It's in a stick form, it's nice Yeah also stickers, oh and I also have uh, Socks, that's cute But yeah I think it's a cute small collection Will I pick anything up If I see it in store, maybe um, You never know You never know Maybe uh, oh yeah, the next I'm going to go for to something that I I I don't get this, but I that's maybe me. So this is Bobby Brown uh, collabing with Toki Doki. I have no idea what Toki Doki is. So also that I have no idea. Uh, well, I really like the um, I like the unicorn, the golden unicorn. Now Bobby Brown, I don't think is cruelty free, so I won't buy anything from this uh, anyway. But this is. You know, and that, that is it with some of the collections from Bobby Brown It's just not something that I feel is on brand But maybe I'm very much mistaken I... Uh, I... Uh, I don't see a lot of things Or at least that catch my attention from Bobby Brown And because they're not cruelty free I actually never mention them in these types of videos uh, this one I saw and I was like, what the actual fuck is this? And while there are elements in here that are cute It just feels so random for me Like the Monopoly collection that she did It was also very, very random Then I was like, then I was like what? And I kind of have the same thing with this That I'm like, huh? Now also, I have no idea what Toki Doki is So maybe that is it as well What is, what is it? What is it? I have no idea, I'm guessing it's kind of a Chinese or Japanese brand I have no idea what it is It doesn't matter, let me know your thoughts down below I find it very very random I'm like I don't get it Next I'm going to go to Viseart Because they have launched a few new Petit Four uh, palettes This is their winter collection And I think that this is a These are uh, pretty, I actually have to I have the lavender and I have the peach, so the peach And I like these uh, I don't know exactly the color of the middle one If it is kind of a I think it's too cool for me I think this is a more taupe And if I have a pink tone taupe It looks very weird on me They're lilacs? Oh, they're lilacs So you get the Amelie Is uh, rose gold luminosity and caramel creaminess I don't know why that sounds nasty all of a sudden, but it does <laughs> Then we have the Lila Deu uh, Is Sassy Lilacs and Enchanting Neutrals Okay And then the Violetta is Smoky, Seductive, Mauve and Berry Huh? Oh, the, I think that's the grey one 
I never know what color mauve is, but I also have always have trouble with the color taupe. So that's me. But I think that the quality is very, very nice. They're 25 bucks each. They're on the high price. There's a high price point. I do feel that even though it's just four shades, the complete experience, the, the way the packaging is, uh, the way that the shadows performed, at least for the ones that I have, I do think it is worth it. But if you can get it on a sale, get it on a sale. That's what I always say. Next, I'm going to go to Sigma and a collaboration that they are doing with Karen Harris. It's the Karen Harris favorite set. And the product includes the E25 blending brush, the E36 tapered cheek brush, a blush in the shade Tiger Lily and the Corderosa mini eyeshadow palette, which has seven shades. Karen, congratulations. This is just so, so awesome. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, I love this. I love that Sigma is doing these types of bundles. I think it's just such a cool way to celebrate the people who love your stuff. I think it's amazing. And yeah, again, Karen, congratulations. It's just amazing. Um, I will leave their site down below because I think... Uh, it is only the sets only available on their site. I'm not sure, but I will leave their site down below. And I will also leave uh, Karen's channel down below because she's also on the YouTubes. Yes, let me know if, if you know her. Let me know if you've got this. Let me know down below. Uh, next, I'm going to go to uh, Sugar Drizzle Polish because this is their uh, On Top of the Mountain and Beneath the Stars Highlighter palette it's six iridescent highlighters and it's available on black friday it looks pretty yeah it does i'm not really into big palettes like this i do have colored highlighters and i can also use uh, color topper shades if, as a highlighter if i want to the highlighter that i have on today uh, is also from the mystery bro box from v cosmetics and this I think it's cute, but for me, I would use these as inner corner shades. And I don't think that I would get enough use out of this. But if you love stuff like this, maybe this is for you. So that's why I wanted to mention it. And yeah, as I said, available Black Friday, which is the 25th. And I will leave the site down below. Next, I'm going to go to Cosmic Brushes. Because they have launched brushes. Uh, or that's... Well, I don't know why I am so surprised by that. Because their name is Cosmic Brushes. They release brushes. Purply ones. Uh, these are, and I'm actually very, very interested in these. These are their new faux natural line of brushes. Uh, these are made with a crystallized structure to replicate the hair of natural brushes. Perfect for those of us who love the performance of natural hair, but without the cruelty. Uh, they are, these are designed to pick up more powder than regular synthetic brushes due to the porous surface of each fiber. In the same way, natural hairs have a cuticle for a smoother and more blendable application. These are 100% vegan and cruelty free and they will be available soon. And this was from a week ago. This is a brush that I really want to try out because... I uh, I have said this before, I'm cruelty free here on my channel and I have also said that I don't want to repurchase real hair brushes. A brand can say that they're cruelty free, but at the end of the day, cruelty free means that it has not been tested on animals. So if you have, I don't know, a goat and um, you make a brush out of the fur, you don't have to test it on itself, right? So that's why real hair brushes can be cruelty free. I know that also some companies claim that they are sourced cruelty free. But what is their version of cruelty free? How do they source that? Do they have, uh, you know, goats and ponies and all that just in a land and they just pick off what they shed? Or are they being kept... I don't know, like cattle. Listen, there's a reason I don't eat meat. I'm not going to get to everyone their own, but that's the questions that I ask myself. And because I don't want to go down that rabbit hole, I just said to myself, listen, for me, I don't want to repurchase real hairbrushes. I'm not saying that you shouldn't though. It's just that that's not what I feel comfortable with. So, um, but I do still have some real hair brushes. I have some brushes from Refer. They are an amazing quality. I understand why people buy them. They are very, very good. But I don't want to repurchase. I also don't want to throw them away because that's wasteful. And I don't like that at all. I have opinions on that, but I'm not going to go into that. That's okay. And 
hearing then a brand say we are going to release you know brushes that perform like real hair but are vegan and cruelty free i'm like sign me up sign i, do, I also hope that refer will do that one day that would be awesome i'm very curious how they would tackle this i don't want to say issue but how their quality would be if they were to make synthetic brushes uh, that are designed to function like real hair brushes i'm very curious about that and i don't usually go for a lot of uh sets i show the sets but when i look at this i think that these will be brushes I, this is just a set that i want to try let's just say that i love cosmic brushes as a brand they are based in the uk i will link their site down below i don't know when this will launch but i am excited i really want to try this set so let me know if you're excited i don't think i have a lot left oh two things i was kind of debating if i were to leave this piece in which is from lisa eldridge um but i kind of do want to talk about it and these are the the palettes uh, and the lip well basically the palettes that she released they are as i am understanding this all sold out and apparently she's not going to restock them at least not this or she's not going to restock them this year maybe next year but i am actually not sure but i think that the color stories are very very pretty And that's kind of why I wanted to mention them. I think that it is very, very cool that she came out with eyeshadow palettes. And I know that a lot of people were very, very excited. And let, I want to know from you guys, did you get any? Did you get any? If I were to have gone for one, which one would it have been? I think the, basically the, the neutrally orangey one uh, above the one with the purple. I think that one. I think I would have gone for that one because that one just... Ah, uh, it screams my name. It screams like some, uh, something that I would love to use. Yeah. So that I think is the one that I would choose. Yes, I know it's a neutral palette, but still. But I really do like the fact that she gave, uh, gave people different options. So that's why I wanted to mention it. Uh, the last thing that I have here is from Mika Beauty Shop. This is the palette Glacier. It's dropping. Oh, it has dropped already. Don't know if it's sold out, but I thought that the color story was pretty so i wanted to mention it yes i know that there are blues in here but looking at this there's one blue that i don't like which is the shade snowflake which is kind of that the jean blue it has too much i i always say that it kind of has too much red in it and that that type of shade just doesn't look flattering on me because it just brings out my greenness even though I also have blue as an undertone, but yeah, uh, the rest seeing kind of a minty and then kind of a teal green with that pop of green. I think it's cute. So, but I don't know if it's still available, but I did want to mention it because I did think it was a pretty, uh, pretty color story. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. That's kind of it for today as well. It was a longer one. I think it kind of depends on how much I can edit it down. But yeah, I think that the finds that I had this week were very polarizing. Very fun. And some were very, very questionable. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. And if you see anything that you want me to talk about, either send it in DM or tag me on Instagram. And uh, and then I can, I can you know, save it to the folder and we can talk about it. Was this number 199? No, it's 198. We have two episodes to go before. Well, one episode to go before the number 200. Hmm exciting 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 uh, i'm still here at the site uh, because you will see the members and the patrons scrolling on the screen right now if you want to become either there are links in the description box there's also a link to my new art channel there's also a giveaway going on there just saying and if you go to the channel basically the channel A welcome video is me explaining what the giveaway entails and if you are still here leave me What shall I do? Leave me anything that makes you think of the holidays. Let's do that. If there, if there is a big red button underneath the video. And you are still here. Just click the button. Just, just do it. Because that means just that you are one of us. You are one of us. Yes. Welcome to the party. Or the freak show. I don't know. Either way. It doesn't matter. I am going to wish you a fantastic day. Fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.